I've recently started on a new journey in my life, and that is the journey of finding a house to buy. I would say buying a house, but I haven't found the house that I'm going to buy yet. So we're just going to talk about the journey of trying to find the perfect house and the five stages that you go through. Stage number one, you go to the bank and get yourself pre-approved. Then you get one of these. This is a fancy pre-approval letter that you will get and you will get so excited because you're going to be like, I have been pre-approved for so much money. This bank trusts me for so much money ever and the world is my oyster and I could buy so much with all this money I've been pre-approved for and I can't wait to start looking at houses. Stage number two. Now that you have your fancy pre-approval letter, you call up your realtor and you make an appointment to sit down to talk about what you want in a house, if you have a realtor. I'm going with a realtor because I've never done this before. Hi, realtor, I'd like to buy a house. Why, yes, I have been pre-approved. Realtors are so nice. Stage number three. So you're gonna go through and uh, you're gonna download all of the house finding apps. If you can tell, I've got a lot of apps on these screens. A lot of them are realty apps. Just got all of them and I checked them all. Stage number four, scroll through your realty apps. Realize you need to set the filter to how much you've been pre-approved for because all the houses you're interested in are way out of your budget. Remember when you thought you were pre-approved for like so much money? You learn in the house hunting world that that is chump change that you have been pre-approved for, but that's okay. House hunting is fun. House hunting is fun. And stage number five, make an appointment with your realtor. He's gonna set up a bunch of cool houses for you to go see. You're gonna go see them. And you're gonna go see five, six houses on your list. You hand selected these houses because you love them and all the photos that you saw of them on those realty apps. And then you're gonna question your entire life and everything you've ever known to be true and to be real because once you get into those houses, you're gonna start looking at them and you're gonna be like, wait a second, this ain't what I wanted. And then you're gonna learn everything you thought you wanted in a house. You know, when you fill out the little survey with your realtor about things you wanted in a house, that you lied to him. And that everything you said you wanted in a house is actually not at all what you want in a house. So then you're gonna have to go back, rethink your life choices and how you got to this point. But now you need to call your realtor and you need to apologize for wasting his Sunday afternoon. So now you have to do the whole process over again next week because house hunting is fun.